My painting compositions are often based on the principles of harmonic symmetry. So I often use a harmonic symmetry armature to check and refine my compositions and as a guide for drawing my composition onto a canvas. In this video, I'm going to show you how I set up a harmonic armature in Photoshop as part of that process. Before we begin, you might want to download the free harmonic armature set. The set contains three harmonic armatures. You'll find a link for it in the description below. So let's get started. In Photoshop, I plan to use the armature as a drawing guide, so I want the photograph size to be the same size as the canvas that I'm going to paint on. In this case, the painting will be on a 9 by 12 inch canvas. In the menu bar, I click Image, then Image Size. In the dialog box, I enter 12 inch width and 9 inch height. And to save a little computer space, I set the resolution for a low 72 dpi. Then click OK. Resizing made the photo a little bit too small to work with. To fix this, I'll click on Command plus the plus sign to make it a little larger. If I want to make it smaller, I could use Command plus the minus sign. For PC users, use the Alt key instead of the Command. Before placing the armature, I go to View, move down to Snap, and make sure that it's selected. This will help the armature edges snap to the edges of the photo. Now let's place the armature. Click on File, then Place Embedded, select the Harmonic Armature White Ping, then click Place. You'll see the armature overlay your photograph and become a new layer in your layers named Harmonic Armature White. In this example, my photo happens to be the same dimensions as the Harmonic Armature, so they align perfectly in place. At this stage, I'm ready to use the armature for analyzing or adjusting my composition. I can also use it now as a drawing guide. But what if the armature edges didn't line up with the image? Well, you can reshape it as you need to. So, for a little practice, let's bring in another photo. Before we bring it in, click on the background image layer. That will ensure that the new image comes in between the background and below the armature. Once that's done, go to File, Place Embedded, select a new image, and click Place. To hide the original image, because it's kind of in the way, click on the eyeball to the left of the background image layer. You'll see that the armature doesn't line up with the new photo. To adjust the harmonic armature, first click on the layer named Harmonic Armature White. You'll see that the armature's borders and handles appear. Hold down the Shift key and at the same time click on and move the armature's corner handles to align the armature edges with the edges of the photo. That's it. It can now be used to check your harmonic symmetry and it can be used as a drawing guide. That resized armature will work beautifully even in this new dimension. I hope you enjoyed this video and I urge you to click that subscribe button and select notifications so you don't miss any of the videos in this series.